I am Vachrata Joshi, going to deal with uh, the eco-critical concern with uh, Gun Island and the Hungry Tide. The table of content. Uh, in this, I am going to deal with the writer introduction in brief, uh, climate change, uh, the, environment, uh, the environmental sustainability in Sundarban, the Hungry Tide, and uh, Clify, uh, Gun Island, and the degenerating ecosystems and non-human world and ecological destruction. Uh, the brief introduction of uh, Amitav Ghosh. So Amitav Ghosh is, uh, uh, have, uh, have become the first Indian writer to strongly engage with ecological issues in the English, uh, English fiction. Uh, his famous and notably works is The Great Derangement, The Shadow Lines, uh, The Hungry Tide, uh, the Calcutta uh, Chronosum, and he has worked as journalist, journalist and has written top, topical issues including terrorism, religious fundamentalism, displacement, and many post-colonial uh, relatives of the third world. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, what is the term ecocriticism? Uh, according to uh, M. H. Abrams, a glossary of literary terms, ecocriticism eco was a term coined in the late uh, 1970s by combining criticism with shortened uh, form of ecology that science and uh, that science that investigates the interrelations of all forms plant animals life with human life uh, in a brief we can say that uh, the acute awareness of the damage being wrought on the environment by human activities uh, what is the term climate change uh, climate change refers to the long-term shift in temperature and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in solar cycle. Human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gases. We can say that uh, uh, the uh, air pollution and industrializ industrialization has uh, uh, a bad effect on uh, climate. Uh, burning fossil fuels and generates greenhouse gas emissions that act like a blanket wrapped around the earth, trapping the sun's heat and raising uh, temperatures. Uh, the, uh, the environmental sustainability in Sundarban says that a region of mangrove forest in India and uh, that, proposes, uh, that proposes the strategies for the achieving greater sustainability in the region, the impact of climate change, deforestation and human activities such as fishing and lodging on the Sundarban has uh, has uh, has given a bad uh, uh, thing on eco ecosystem and discusses the importance of uh, preserving the re uh, region's biodiversity for the sake of both local communities and the uh, broader ecosystem. The urgent need to prioritize environmental sustainability in the Sundarban in order to protect the region's unique ecosystem and support the uh, the livelihoods of local communities. Uh, the local people who are going through such uh, rain and flood and the, how the, uh, the river is uh, taking, uh, taking all the lands uh, is uh, showing in this picture. Uh, the novel Hungry Tide has uh, uh, the story of uh, three people who are uh, in, a, we can say, canning to a uh, river for uh, dolphins by Pia, uh, Pia Roy, who is a... Uh, uh, who is uh, studying uh, microbiology in uh, in uh, marine uh, mammals? Uh, it says uh, uh, the Sundarman uh, the Ghosh examines the tensions between the uh, uh, human communities, their respective relationships with the natural world, and the extra discursive reality of nature that changes and is simultaneously changed by humanity in the hungry tide. Hungry Tide says a region of mangrove forest in India and that, that, that tells of story uh, that relationship between human inhabitants and of the region of the natural world, that impact of climate change on the Sundarban as rising sea levels and the more frequent and severe storms threatened by survival of mangrove forest and the communities that depend on it. So uh, we have seen while studying that how uh, the uh, the living local living people who are uh, surviving on that uh, island is being is being affected by this climate change. Uh, the character of Pia, a marine biologist, has uh, uh, working on scientific study of the environmental and urgent need for action to uh, mitigate the effects of climate change. 
the novel Hungry Tide explores the impact of globalization, capitalism, and environment as the character of uh, Kanai, a businessman who is shown to be responsible for the destruction of environment in the pur pursuit of profit. Uh, for that, uh, we can take the uh, recent example of uh, Ganga River, where uh, one man was uh, digging the river to get the gold. As uh, we have the myth that if you are uh, throwing the ashes in the river, we can see, uh, we can find uh, the gold and silver from their ashes uh, who are died. So uh, we have seen that uh, news recently that uh, how uh, need of living is be is become the bad thing uh, uh, that globalization and affecting on globalization and capitalism. The de degenerating ecosystem and non-human world. Uh, Amitav Ghosh in, in the novel travels from uh, the wild and tangled Sundarban to Los Angeles, parched by the wildfires to so slowly sinking Venice. Uh, we can see that how uh, we have seen the Sundarban uh, sinking. Uh, the land is been uh, cutting down and river is coming uh, through. Uh, how we have seen the Anthropocene scenes of Los Angeles and the sinking Venice under the uh, river is a uh, recent uh, non-humanitic non world. Uh, Earth's temperature has been ri uh, rising due to climate change and the hotter climatic conditions have been igniting fires and have been damaging the environment and local wildfire. Recently, we have experienced a dreadful wildfires in many parts of the world, such as California wildfires, Brazil's Amazon rainforest fires in 2020-20, and bush fires in Australia with the increasing size, duration, and intensity. So in pictures, we can see that uh, these first two pictures are from uh, Venice and uh, this is our second, uh, both second are from Sundarvan. The eco-critical destruction, the human caused climate crisis in the several forms like increasing temperatures, weather extremes, rising sea levels, uh, tidal inundation, and so forth has been in intensifying the destruction of ecosystem in habitat loss of changing distribution patterns of non-human worlds. So uh, we have that, we have this re uh, recent uh, example of this uh, um, mix, mixture of seasons. We have this rain and uh, uh, cold weather and this uh, heat wave. So this is the uh, worst effect of uh, on uh, ecology by uh, human. Besides these calamitous uh, changes have largely influenced uh, humankind as well. We will attempt to locate how human life at the margins has been controlled by these life altering events through examining uh, Gun Island. In the novel, he exposes the consequences that the inhabitants of Sundarbans are facing due to the ecological destructions of the mangrove swamps. Uh, the climate change might lead to more wildfire, including hot lightning strikes, that, uh, what, a new, uh, what, what a new study says. Lightning is a major cause of triggering wildfires and is responsible for products producing the largest wildfires in some religions, including the Western United States, lightning caused wildfires are dangerous as they spread rapidly before a strong response can be implemented and release a, a substantial amount of carbon, nitrogen oxide and other traces, trace gases into the atmosphere. Uh, we have these recent examples of this uh, climate change and the, how the uh, lightning is affecting uh, the wildfires. In conclusion, I would like to say that uh, Ghosh in Gun Island puts effort to expose the ecological devastation through these Sundarbans. Human activities are responsible for the increasing alternative and of climatic conditions. We cannot say uh, everything is in negative because uh, we have recent examples of, uh, let me say, uh, there is a, a one man who is called who is, who is cleaned 160 kilometer long river by himself only who is a baba uh, balbir singh known as eco baba uh, there there is another example of uh, a brazilian couple who take 20 years to grow a forest for themselves and they have 2 million trees in there and uh, we, uh, in our our culture we have that sadguru who is uh, doing a campaigning movement for safe soil to, uh, to, to save the land degradation and uh, to uh, generate a, a healthy soil.
So in a way, we can say that uh, not everyone is spoiling the nature. There are few people who are working to uh, help the uh, mother nature. And there are uh, a lot of uh, 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 kind of uh, negative aspects to say that uh, we have uh, 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 industrialization uh, and this uh, uh, this uh, digitalization, which uh, help, uh, which uh, which is uh, helping to grow the calamities. In a, in a way, I can say that uh, adop adopting a holistic view that has an ecocentric and nature inclusive model of growth will prevent the uh, impressions of climate change. There must be a partnership ethic between nature and humanity that does not view nature as a resource created specifically for human utility, but rather as coexistence of human and biotic life with mutual support, mutuality and partnership with each other. These are my works I did. Thank you. So, in your opinion, first, uh, what may be the possible solutions for the general development of humans apart from the damaging aspect of the idea of development to the relationship to the earth? So, what I want to tell like people will come, okay, see, uh, uh, without development, uh, see, the development is there, uh, it will be on the most of the damage on the forest part or the natural resources, whatever are there. But now people come and say, Jiva, Jiva, Shepo, you know. so if you want to be happy, then some other will have to die. So is it the concept behind this idea of development or if somebody comes and tells that okay, I want, uh, I, I cannot uh, do, uh, I, I mean like I, I cannot uh, run my life without this grass or whatever equipments I am having and that equipments are made uh, by the damage of the nature. So what answers or see there is a repressive approach that turn to the nature, turn to the rustic life and what else can be there? Thank you. So your question is uh, whether, uh, what I understand from your question because it was way longer to understand in one go. And very speedy so i would like to say that if you are uh, talking about that uh, if you are uh, working on something that you have to uh, let go something if you are working for city then you have to let go rural area and if you are working for rural area you have to let go the city so in my uh, answer i would like to say that if you are uh, living in a jungle then you have to preach for your food so in a way uh, we have to save uh, soil and mother earth so we have to uh, have that uh, positive, uh, positive aspect towards the nature rather than uh, just uh, spoiling uh, the nature. Okay. Anything else? My question is, is there any reasons apart from natural causes that leads to mass migration? Like in the novel, we have a uh, tidal changes in Sundarban that later uh, forces people to migrate. Can we find any other than uh, natural causes? Yes, there is uh, one financial cause in the novel mentioned because uh, uh, the people who are local living in a rural area don't find uh, they cannot survive with the river only or if they are living besides the sea. So uh, there is one aspect of mass migration is uh, the uh, the economic condition then financial crisis. Okay, so with this, uh, this uh, first session ends here, first day ends here, both the session. Uh, by and large, uh, the comments which were required, I have given uh, along with the things also. Uh, some of you were asking good questions, still everybody need to improve uh, the quality of question. And uh, also if questions are related to your slides, you should be able to justify it uh, thoroughly you have to uh, answer it in proper context also. Uh, and uh, a few things about uh, the research writing things, technicalities. Uh, I hope in the research methodology paper you will improve. And I won't have to say any comment about that uh, day after tomorrow. Uh, you have a holiday tomorrow. So you have enough time to prepare for research methodology uh, presentation. And you all will uh, go through the entire syllabus. So that from everything there is something to learn, the entire, all the units of that. And then whichever topic you are going to select, you will give proper justification. Because in that 